Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Royal Highness the Deputy King, Crown Prince, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today met with the former King of Spain, His Majesty King Han Carlos I. During the meeting, the Deputy King affirmed that relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Spain are continuously progressing due to the joint commitment by both countries' leaderships to reinforce collaboration across a number of sectors while expanding areas of common interest. His Royal Highness welcomed King Juan Carlos I to the Kingdom and reviewed with him the close ties in various areas of collaboration between the two kingdoms. The Deputy King expressed his appreciation for His Highness King Juan Carlos I's keenness to visit Bahrain, which reflects the joint commitment of both kingdoms to develop cooperation at all levels. For his part, His Majesty King Juan Carlos expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for the warm welcome and hospitality he received during his visit to the Kingdom, praising His Royal Highness's efforts in supporting bilateral relations and wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, held a telephone call with the Mayor of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmad Al Jabba Al Sabah, to inquire on the health of the Mayor of Kuwait following his entry to hospital for medical examinations. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister wished the Mayor of Kuwait good health to continue the march to development. The Mayor of Kuwait expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his good sentiments, which reflect the depth and strength of relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and Kuwait. Under the patronage of the personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, and Honorary President of Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the night races began to mark the opening season of the 100km endurance race and the local and international qualifying race for the 40 and 80km. His Highness followed up on the preparations for the race and the veterinary examination in the presence of the President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed pleasure to organise the race in which a number of jockeys from the Royal Endurance Team as well as local stables participated. He affirmed that the race witnessed strong competition, which reflected the participants' readiness for the season. He added that this race was strong in the first phase, thanks to the enthusiasm of the participants. His Highness said that the weather condition during the race motivated the jockeys to reach higher levels and achieve the first title, which reflects their experience and capabilities, and the keenness to contribute to the success of the race which will have a positive impact on their performance level in the coming races, in order to achieve the highest titles. His Highness praised the efforts exerted by Brief, led by Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, in implementing the development programmes that will achieve the plan set by His Highness Sheikh Nasser to make further progress in the sport. He also expressed appreciation to the role of the organising committee that contributed to the success of the opening race. Under the patronage of the personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the inauguration ceremony of the Ironman 70.3 Middle East Championship is being held today, and the championship will be held on Saturday at Bahrain Bay. His Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for his role in supporting the triathlon sport. He added that this support motivates the Kingdom to reach higher levels in the coming phases. His Highness welcomed all participants in the championship, which will witness heated competition in swimming, cycling and running. He affirmed that the organising committee is ready to host the championship, healing the efforts to both Bahrain Triathlon Federation and the organising committee. He added that hosting this event will have positive results on the Kingdom, especially on the economic, media and cultural fields. He also said it will benefit the organising committee to earn more experience as well as showcasing the capabilities of the Bahraini cadres. 
His Highness stressed his readiness to compete for the first title after intensive preparations and serious training that he has undertaken. The organising committee held a press conference on the occasion and discussed the recent preparations for the championship and also discussed His Highness Sheikh Nasser's directives to organise a triathlon race for boys and girls. The registration witnessed a number of participating children who will participate in the boys and girls race that will be held tomorrow at 11am. The aim of these races is to inspire children to practice sports and direct them into a healthy, positive life. Under the patronage of the Cabinet Affairs Minister, Mohammed bin Ibrahim al Matawa, Al Balka Art Gallery launched today Dilman of Love and Peace, a book written by Dr. Abdulaziz Ali Sawala, who dedicated his work to the leadership. A number of elite authors, intellectuals, and media figures attended the launch ceremony. The book focuses on the ancient history and civilization of Bahrain and its contributions to humanity which was reinforced by archaeological discoveries in recent years about the Dilmun civilization. The recent discoveries prove the prominence of Dilmun through its interaction with neighbouring civilizations, including Mesopotamia and the Indus Valley. On this occasion, al Matawa praised the efforts of Dr Sawella, adding that the book will become a valuable resource for those interested in history and research. For his part, Dr Suella expressed thanks and appreciation to the Minister of Cabinet Affairs on his patronage and support to the researchers. Foreign Affairs Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa has joined the Ambassador of the People's Republic of China in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Chi Zhong Hong is laying the foundation stone for the Chinese Embassy building in Bahrain. On this occasion, the Minister extended his sincere congratulations to the People's Republic of China, praising the relations between both countries, especially after the visit of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to China. The Minister also lauded the important role of China in establishing world peace, stability and development, and expressed aspirations to further develop bilateral relations and to continue to work on establishing peace and security in the region and the world. The Chinese ambassador expressed his thanks for the continuous support he receives from the Kingdom of Bahrain and expressed his country's appreciation of the strong bilateral relations between both countries, wishing Bahrain continued progress and prosperity.
The former King of Spain, His Majesty King Juan Carlos I, visited today the National Theatre of Bahrain, where he was accompanied by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and President of the Bahrain Authority of Culture and Antiquities, BACA, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. During the visit, Sheikh Ahmed briefed His Majesty on the National Theatre's role in supporting cultural and artistic movement to achieve communication between various people and cultures in organising events that reflect Bahrain's openness and its relations with friendly countries. She also briefed His Majesty on the activities of the Bahrain Authority of Culture and Antiquities and the celebrations for Maharik, the capital of Islamic culture and the International Conference of the World of Heritage Committee, chaired by Bahrain. The anti-terror quartet, Saudi Arabia, UAE, Bahrain and Egypt, has added two new entities and 11 individuals to the terror list for their role in disseminating and supporting terrorism. In a statement released through the Saudi press agency, the SPA, the quartet identified the two terror entities as the International Islamic Council and the World Union of Muslim Scholars. The statement said that the two listed entities are terrorist organisations working to promote terrorism through the exploitation of Islamic discourse and its use as a cover to facilitate various terrorist activities. The statement identified the individuals as Khalid Nazm Diab, Salam Jabba Omar Ali Sultan, Fatmala Jabber, Mayasa Ali Musa Abdullah Jabouni, Muhammad Ali Saeed Atm, Hassan Ali Muhammad Juma Sultan, Muhammad Suleiman Haider Muhammad Al Haider, Muhammad Jamal Ahmed Ahmed Abdul Hamid, Asayed Mahmoud Isad Ibrahim Isa. Yaya Al Said Ibrahim Muhammad Musa, Kadri Muhammad Fahmi Mahmoud Al Sheikh, and Allah Ali Ali Muhammad Asmahi. The quartet also identified Qatar's role in aiding the above mentioned individuals who carried out various terrorist operations in which they have received direct Qatari support at various levels, including providing them with passports and assigning them to Qatari institutions with a charitable appearance to facilitate the movement. The quartet, through monitoring, emphasised Qatar continued Qatari Authority support for and sponsor for finance of terrorism, promotion of extremism and dissemination of hate speech, and that the authorities have not taken decisive action to stop terrorist activity. The statement added that the four countries reaffirm the commitment to strengthening all efforts to combat terrorism and to establish security and stability in the region, and stresses that they will not hesitate to pursue individuals and terrorist groups and will support all means in regard to the regional and international levels. The four countries also thank all the countries that support them in their actions in the fight against terrorism, extremism and violence and rely on them to continue their efforts and cooperation to eradicate this phenomenon that has long been evil throughout the world.